Nine things to do when you feel like giving up. Life is full of so many sweet and interesting moments, as well as many sad and discouraging moments. Times when all you want to do is throw it all away and never have to struggle to get anything done. Some days are filled with inspiration, some are routine filled, and others are nothing but depressing. Think of every great and successful person you know. Take a while to study their lives and their works. You can even read about them if you want. You'll find out that every one of these guys, like you, also had days that were rough and frustrating. Yet, they didn't give up. How did they do it? You see, the first thing to note is that if you truly want something, never give up on it because it is difficult to wait but more difficult to regret. Everyone who made it to success understood this. Hence, they were able to push forward and motivate themselves to achieve their goals. Once again, how did they achieve it? In today's video, I'll share with you nine things to do when you feel like giving up. This, I believe, will help you become a successful person. If you're new here, consider subscribing so that you won't miss other interesting videos like this. One. Remind yourself why you started. Everyone starts a thing or two, believing that they can because they are passionate about it or they just want to see to it that everyone around them enjoys the best life possible and a bunch of other reasons. Whichever reason you choose in the first place, now might be a good time to remind yourself of that reason. 2. Remind yourself some of the things that you are good at. Most times when we feel like quitting or giving up, it is because the result we get doing a particular thing doesn't commensurate with the action we've put into it. In other words, our expectations overshadow our result. Hence, we become worried if we are even doing the right thing or if it was meant for us to do in the first place. However, in times like this, it is best to remind yourself some of the things you perform excellently at. Remind yourself of your strengths rather than focus on your weakness and your present situation. When you do this, you begin to feel great about yourself and your abilities and this makes it easier to motivate yourself and push yourself further to achieve the things that you want to achieve. Also, focus on how you can provide value to the people around you. We are in a service-driven society, so when people perceive you are valuable to them, you feel great about yourself and you become motivated to do more. 3. Understand the power of persistence According to Winston Churchill, if you have an important point to make, don't try to be subtle or clever. Use a pile driver, hit the point once, then come back and hit it again, then hit it a third time, tremendous whack. Persistence is continuing in your course of action to achieve a specific goal in spite of difficulties and challenges. Persistence always leads to success. Winston S. Churchill defines success as stumbling from failure to failure with no loss of enthusiasm. Understanding that challenges are a part of the journey to success and also understanding that it takes persistence to eventually achieve your goals will help you push further when you are at the verge of giving up. 4. Remember, you are not alone. Albert Einstein, Thomas Edison, Bill Gates, Jeff Bezos, and the likes experienced rough times in their businesses, both at the beginning stages and at the final stages as well. So do not ever think that you cannot make it through your challenges as well. For instance, Thomas Edison, the man who invented the electric bulb, tried about a thousand times before getting the final model he used to invent the electric bulb. When asked how he managed to cope with failures all those times, Edison said, I have not failed. I have just found 10,000 ways that wouldn't work. Add in, our greatest weakness lies in giving up. The most certain way to succeed is to always try one more time. So the next time you are faced with difficulties, remind yourself of past leaders who made it to the top of their careers or people who achieved one goal or the other and convince yourself to give it one more try. 5. Surround yourself with positive people. Positivity is contagious, as is negativity. Being around positive people will encourage you to keep on going when you feel like giving up. 
Jeru Philip said, Surround yourself with people that want more out of life, that won't settle for average, people that you can connect with on a deeper level. Keep your circle fresh. Keep your circle full of quality rather than quantity, full of cool humans that you can be yourself around, people that fill you up with nothing but love, people that want to see you succeed, people that get it. Good circle, the good life. Also, according to Jim Ron, a renowned businessman, you are the average of the five people you spend the most time with. So try spending your time with people that will influence you to become a better version of you and not give up when you encounter challenges. 6. Reevaluate your goals. When you feel like giving up, maybe it's a good time to reevaluate your goals instead. That your current strategy isn't working doesn't make your dreams invalid. Neither does it mean that you cannot achieve it. Reevaluating your goals keeps you focused on the task you have to complete in comparison with what you have achieved. When you do that, you feel motivated to keep moving because even though you haven't gotten what you want, at least you are no longer where you started. You've taken some steps forward and that is what is important, making progress continuously. 7. Set up a new plan or re-strategize. Once you are done re-evaluating your goals to know if you're still on the right track, it is time to re-strategize. You probably got frustrated because everything you were trying wasn't working or the result was not yielding as much as you wanted. So, why not consider changing your strategy, not the goal? Take time out to do some research and map out a tested plan. When you do that, you'll feel motivated to keep going. 8. Take a break and don't beat yourself up. Sometimes, we get too hard on ourselves. We want to get results as soon as we begin a thing. We put all our effort, time and money, but we don't get the result we had thought we would. The truth is that we're getting some results, but because we're too focused on our expectations, we lose touch on the present happenings. Eventually, we break down and feel like giving up. However, instead of giving up, take that moment to analyze all that you have done and you'll see that the situation isn't half as bad as you imagined it to be. Hence, there's no reason to give up. If for anything, pat yourself on the shoulder and praise yourself for the hard work you've put into it and the corresponding result you have obtained so far. 9. Work towards becoming result-oriented a majority of us have been trained in school to focus on the process of things, but doing that will soon make you tired, especially when it gets cumbersome. Instead of being result-oriented, when you're result-oriented, you have an end goal in mind, and that is what you focus on. You're not preoccupied with trying to make the process look attractive, that you forget what people are interested in is the final product where the value lies. For instance, Imagine a designer who cuts a dress into pieces, gets frustrated and dumps it somewhere. Will anyone appreciate it? Of course not. But if he or she manages to put those pieces together to achieve the amazing masterpiece they have in mind, every one of their potential customers will be willing to pay any amount of money to have it. Always let your mind be on your end goals, especially when you feel discouraged and ready to give up. That way, you'll motivate yourself and push yourself until you achieve your set goals. Thank you very much for watching our videos. We'll like to give you another interesting video for you to enjoy next. But before then, our team will be very happy if you can like this video and share it with your friends on social media. If you're new here, don't forget to subscribe so you won't miss other interesting videos like this. Look at your screen now to see two other videos we handpicked for you to enjoy next. We love you.